Broadcasting from the heart of the National Forest for Northwest Leicestershire. This is Hermitage FM. I'm John Sinclair. Welcome to the Local Music Show. Myself and my producer come looking after me and uh, making sure I know what buttons to press person, Kevin Gorn. <laughs> That's a very elaborate title there, John. Thank yeah. you very much. I'll have to shorten it to something uh, yeah. later on. Uh, but tell us about the show, because we have a guest already. We do indeed. Uh, first of all, we've got uh, Matt Chubb, who's already in the studio. Um, he'll be talking to us about his Winter Wonderland charity album, which, which comprises a, a number of um, local artists and one or two not-so-local artists. So it'll be interesting to hear about that. As well as he'll be talking about this supporting gig on Friday at The Shed. Uh, which sounds really good, actually. Um, and that's for the UNICEF charity as well. So we'll be starting off with him, and then hot on the heels of Mr Matt Chubb, we'll be speaking to The Vanishing Point, who I caught up with on Saturday at uh, at their gig. at the Refer- a, that, that was the name of a film, wasn't it, back in the day? Yes, it was. I can't remember when it was, but it, I just remember it, it was, was a film. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And th- as a newly qualified driving instructor... Oh, yes, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you very much, yeah. cheers. Um, I did help a bit, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you did actually. Thank you very much. I became a pupil that. for uh, about four weeks. <laughs> yeah, actually, well, it did remind me of a lot of good stuff. But anyway, that's another subject. Anyway, um, but so therefore, vanishing point is actually a, a driving term as well. It's um, if you're something to do with driving in the country, whether I'll tell you about it later. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so we'll be speaking <laughs> to the vanishing point, and that'll be uh, and playing a couple of their songs as well. It'll be good because they're sort of downsizing these days. Which and is you made me line up Casino Empire. You got something to say about them? But yeah. To tell us all now, but no, it's I'm just teasing ahead. Here. <laughs> There's just a little gig I'd like to mention coming up, which is quite an important one for them. So I thought it'd be good to chat about that and play their song as well because they're they're one of our favourites that we've had on the show. Okay, uh, we'll probably put that in between the other two things you mentioned. So, yeah. our guest is in the studio, uh, and he's looking ready. Are you ready? Most definitely, yes. Okay, good. Yes, okay, uh, Kevin, I'll leave it to you because you know why he's here. Do I? Oh, why is? Oh, no. um, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Matt. Um, yeah. Now, so you're doing the Winter Wonderland charity album. Would you like to tell us what that's all about? How it came about, in fact. Okay, so I started, I suppose, at the end of last year. The chap I've been doing it with, James Martin of JM Guitar Tuition, he's put together a charity album we did last year. It was called Songs for Syria. And we put together a small album. It was only three or four, three or four tracks. And inevitably, as things do, we decided, oh, we'll try and make it a bit bigger this year. So this year, rather than starting, say, two months early, we started in June. Blimey. That's so quite a bit planned, I've been listening yeah. to quite a lot of Christmas songs for the past six months. So the one last year then, was it quite successful? It was like an EP, I suppose, if there's four four tracks. Yeah, we didn't make, a, I say, a massive amount of money from it, but it got us a few good contacts and sort of the build-up for this year. Ah, oh, I see. Like yeah. a starting point for you, really. Yeah, we've yeah. Got, we got quite a good structure in place and, yeah, the people to speak to. And what we realised this year is do quite a bit more promotion, which is yeah. why I'm hopefully here today. Yeah. <laughs> well, people coming forward naturally and saying, yeah, we'd like to be part of it then, do you think? It, it started out with James and his students basically encouraging them. They they range from one of the tracks we've got for you later is a seven year old Abby and Boo Littlewood, all the way up to I think, I think seven years old. Seven years old. Wow, that's a, tr- a track they've written. Yeah, and goes all the way up to about sixty years old, and a combination of tracks that have been written specifically for this, uh, tracks that have been donated by artists all over the country. And it's quite a range of music as well, from acoustic music, the Christmas music, and we've actually got one there, a band called Ghost Shift, who donated their track they recorded with Blaze Bailey, who was the ex-Iron oh, Maiden right, yeah. and Wolf Spain frontman. Oh, so, nice. and also uh, we've got Jonesy, a local rapper. Yes, yes. So, uh, have you got like a little committee that sits around and says, "Yeah, that will that we'll include that"? Are you kind of like a vetting process? Uh, the committee's me and James. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, do you argue a lot then? Yeah, well, it's, we basically uh, anyone that's wanted to date it, as long as it's family friendly to play. Yeah. Mm. Then yeah, we're more than happy. Actually, we had a little tea on the program. Hey, how old was he? So I think we've beaten the he, record now. He was I nine. Think, was he nine oh, or ten or eleven? I thought, or it, I thought it was about eightish, wasn't he? Something yeah, like that. yeah, around about there. So seven is uh, wow. the same ballpark, isn't it? Yeah, we need to get them on there. So that's a bit scary. It is. So, because you're also doing the gig, aren't you, in, in connection with this? Yeah, as, as part of this, we're organising this Friday at the, the Shed in Leicester. We're getting as many as is feasible of the artists to perform their tracks. 
and we're also having a, a bit of a party set with the band I'm in, Dave the Rock Band, and also we've got local rock band, The Bench That Rocked, down as well. There's a lot of rocking going on there, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> and, and a wee bit of Christmas. Yeah. OK, we're going to play a track called uh, Because of You, so tell us about this one. OK, this is, I suppose, the, the title track we've put together. This is one actually written by myself, James, and the rest of Dave the Rock Band. Bit of a departure from our usual cover set. And... Yeah, it's our first Christmas song, the first one on the album. OK, let's play it then. These days the shots run away with us inside That was Because of You by Dave the Rock Band. Now, so, Dave the Rock Band, you said you're a member of Dave the Rock Band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting name for a band, Dave the Rock Band. <laughs> um, how did that come about, then? Well, it was the end of 2012 now. We met at an open mic night and thought, well, I'll go to this, see if it's any good, have a, see if we can make a band of it. Who um, is we, just you and a bunch of mates? Uh, I first met James, oh. James the guitarist at one open mic night. Then we met a couple of friends, Andy and Chris, the drummer and bassist, at uh, one at the Crown in Melton. 
and we played a couple of tracks and the guy who was running it just came up to said oh you guys are really good so what's the name of your band james just came out with oh dave that'll do <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of stuck after that <laughs> it, could been, it could have been anything then yeah I quite like it. It's, it's quite memorable, I, I find, because I mean, I remember because you were at Oxjam, weren't you? So I remember yeah. from that. Yeah, that was, yeah. Okay, you you've been around quite a bit this year, actually, haven't you, Dave? The rock band. Yeah, we've been playing just under two years now, and we think we've probably done forty, fifty gigs in that time, and quite a few, I suppose, bigger events, things like Oxjam. We ended up playing nearly two and a half hours at Oxjam. So you do covers mainly. mainly. Have you got favourite covers that you like doing? Um, we're, ma- we're we're a rock covers band, so yeah, yeah, the tradi- so, traditional yeah. party stuff, but pa- paranoid and all that sort of thing. Yeah, things like Guns and Roses, Guns Bon Jovi, yeah, yeah. more modern, rock. yeah, yeah, a mix of everything. So we do a bit of the Beatles, Black Crows as well. Yeah, so it's generically anything we can do at a party. I suppose. Sort of sing along stuff as well, isn't it? Yeah, the kind of thing you'd like at a party, I suppose. Yeah. And you've yeah. got features in Leicester Mercury, didn't you, in connection with um, Oxjam as well, I seem to remember. Yeah, after we played on the uh, main stage, we played some point throughout the day, I think it was towards the end, and got a couple of photographs of it. I uh, went into work the next day, and one of the managers had put a, the Mercury on my desk with me on the front of it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is quite bizarre. <laughs> Brilliant publicity, though, isn't it? Especially because yeah. you, you, uh, you, you stood in for a couple of other bands at Oxjam as well, didn't you? Yeah, right? the, we had our one slot, which was yeah. playing the, the main stage, and then one band pulled out. They were meant to headline the exchange the night before, so, and they pulled out, so we said, oh, well, hang around and do that. And then the support band didn't turn up at the exchange, <laughs> so we played the support band and the headline slot, so we ended up playing pretty much a two-hour set for that second one. Crikey, did you have enough material? Uh, that's the good thing about being a covers band. That's true. <laughs> and also, we've all played in bands for several years, and James being a guitar teacher knows quite a... We're yeah, follow me. I, I remember right. this one, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a track then, uh, now called. Uh, is that called Abbey Christmas? Uh, what's this called? About Christmas. Uh, it's by Abbey and Boo Littlewood. Uh, ah, okay. I think it's called a Christmas song. Yeah. Who, who's Abbey and Boo Littlewood? I'll be mean, honest, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they're, oh. They're, one of the, they're two of the people that have donated uh, a track, and this was organised through James. And these are the, the youngest contributors of around oh, se- these seven and upwards. Yes, right. seven upwards. Yeah, wow. and they they've written this little Christmas song which we put together. And there's actually a video. If you go on our Facebook site, it, probably easiest to go through James's website, which is jmguitartuition.com. It'll link through, and there's a little video they've done with this as well. All right. right. And uh, will they b- be appearing on, at the shed as well? Unfortunately, they can't make oh, it, right. I don't think. I was going to say, it's a seven-year-olds, that's a record for this show, isn't it? We've, we've got about is. eight or nine, like you say, yeah. Lil T. Oh, excellent. OK, let's, uh, let's have a listen, then. Thank you. 
you go. So a very sudden ending. I was just uh, getting prepared for that. Uh, the Christmas song. And uh, that was very cute, I have to say. It was, wasn't it? It yeah. immediately makes you go, oh, I think, doesn't it? So, yeah, they were... Uh, uh, y- you're supposed to say, yes, it does, and we all went all together. Oh, should we do oh. three, <laughs> three, two, one? Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, the last track, as I said, we've had uh, tracks uh, written by ourselves, tracks donated, and this is one from a band from Leicester and Stockport. Mm-hmm. who put together, they're just releasing their album, a band called Misdemeanor. So I happened to send this one in because I'm in it, so I know quite a lot to talk about it. Oh. And this is off our first EP called Redux, and the tra- track's called All For You. So uh, one Just before ones. we play it, though, let's uh, uh, get any, any information we need to get coming from... Yeah, what about Facebook page and stuff? So people, if people want to find m- out more about the charity album... Then the Facebook page is quite long, isn't it? Facebook.com forward slash Winter Wonderland Christmas Album, all yeah. one word. Yeah. Or for or they can use forward slash JM Guitar Tuition. Yeah, so okay. so there's all links. So jmguitartuition.com is James's ah, right. guitar tuition website, and he's put plenty of links all over there to all the Facebook pages, etc. And also the Bandcamp page where mm-hmm. you can buy by the album which is a hundred percent of the proceeds go up to unicef mm, it sounds like a brilliant gig though because also i mean at the gig you say jonesy's going to be playing who we've had on the show before yeah um, i don't, I don't think his, uh, jonesy, jonesy oh, he's not he, playing he's oh, one right. of the contributors he's put one of his his tracks in yeah but so the bench that rocked will be playing yeah, the then. bench that rocked uh, playing with with dave the rock band and we've yeah. got uh, w- wayne cooper who plays with alpha state and guilty pleasures He'll be singing, um, I can't remember the name of the song, it's a Christmas song or something along those lines. <laughs> okay. And there's a couple, couple more people who will be coming along and sort of putting the tracks together. Excellent. Okay, well, f- yeah. And the entry is basically you can just give a donation yeah. to get in. Yeah, donation on entry, much, so as much, as, much as, as, as little, so bring all your spare change. Excellent. So it's a way of getting rid of your change, isn't exactly. it? Really? Yeah. So. Okay, well, thanks very much for coming in. I hope the album does well. Uh, just introduce it again for me. Okay, this is Mr. Mina and all for you. I never thought you'd go so soon, but I 
from a band, uh, Mr. Mina. I'm really liking that. And uh, actually, we might get uh, that particular band on the radio in the near future, or well, next year, probably now. Right, track coming up from uh, Casino Empire. Before that, uh, Kev's got some information about them. Yeah, I enjoyed that misdemeanor as well. Oh, it was good, right? It was, yes. Um, yeah, we've got, um, I just thought I'd mention Casino Empire's Glaston Budget Audition is coming up this Tuesday, 16th of December. Um, so that's a week today, in fact, at The Shed, uh, one of our favourite bands that we've had here on the show a couple of, t- uh, a couple of months ago. Um, it's only £5 to get in, so if you'd like to help Casino Empire uh, qu- uh, get onto the stage at Glaston Budget, then if you attend that, you can vote for them. Um, so here is one of their songs. Yeah, it's called Can't Be Mine. <laughs> Casino Empire, I forgot how good that track is actually. Uh, that's called uh, Can't Be Mine in there. Uh, Going to be at the shed. That's um, a week today, isn't it? It is indeed. Exactly a week today for their Glaston Budget audition. And if they get through that, then they'll be playing at Glaston Budget next year. So good luck to them for that. Okay, and uh, I guess we're getting to the uh, uh, the end of the Glaston Budget auditions for this year. It must be soon. Well, uh, not, not, that might be the last one. You know? No, no, no. They, so, they so continue. Yeah, yeah through December. I th- yeah, I think um, I think they're probably not so many in December because there's other gigs and Christmas gigs and stuff going on. Um, but next year, well, this last last January they um, they were doing auditions all the way up through till March or April, I think. So hopefully they'll be doing the same next year. 
because there's uh, a lot more good talent around. Okay, interview that Kevin did uh, coming up in the uh, not too distant future here on. Uh, uh, the local music show with myself and Kevin. Uh, uh, just a reflection, actually, a couple of t- songs we want to play now, just because we can and we've got time. Uh, Gace Petrie, I saw at a festival called Greenbelt uh, this year. I think she's a regular there now, got a very good audience. Uh, here's a song from her. This is called uh, The Redundancy Hymn. see him that's cool from the uh, delightful grace peter who's been working actually with a lot of comedians this year and actually on stage she's quite funny what she was when i i saw her last time i did bump into her um i think a few months ago in a pub when leicester city were on the telly i think the result wasn't very good uh, but we did have a little bit of a natter at the bar wonderful lady if you've not seen her live then try and catch her uh, next year if you can Yes, okay, so coming up we're going to hear an interview um, from that I did at the weekend on Saturday when I caught up with The Vanishing Point at the Sound House, at the newly refurbished Sound House, no less, John. Are Sounds you, good, you going to tell us more about it in a minute? Uh, yeah, well, I can tell you a little tell bit. Tell you now, yeah. <laughs> So what have they done? I mean, obviously I've got in, a vision in my mind of... Uh, it, you go in, there's quite a big bar to get round, stage at the back. Uh, yep. There's a pool room where the bands seem to gather to That's get right. changed on yep. the left. That's right. Did you know about the basement? No, I didn't. 
that they've dug into now. Oh, I didn't know that. So they made it into two floors. Really? Yeah, two floors, and they've got a bar downstairs as well. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. So that, they're going to have two stages then? Uh, no, they've got one stage downstairs, but they've made it twice as big. Wow. Uh, trebled the capacity. And uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm only winding you up, actually, John. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay. No, they, they, they've done a slight I refurb. Th- I was thinking that's a major change. <laughs> yeah, I know. It'd, it'd be good if it was, but... Yeah, okay. Well, maybe we could uh, propose that to them. Give them a sketch of what you think it might look like. <laughs> so, 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 come on, what have but they done? They said they're going to do some more changes, actually, early next year. Um, no, what they have Mr. done... Mr. Gullible here. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Okay. Um, now, all, all that they've done is, uh, it's, it's a reasonable change. It makes a bit of difference. When you walk in, they've now, I don't know if you remember, there was a, as you walk in, there was a bit on the right, um, which used to have leaflets and yeah, stuff on. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So they kind of didn't do much. Yeah, that's right. Um, so they've removed that, which has widened it, so that, that's got a, that's increased, because it used to be a bit of a bottleneck yeah, when they right, had it did, yeah, and stuff yeah. on. So they've removed that. Uh, they've got rid of the carpet that was there as well, made it floor, so that, which is quite nice, because that gives a bit of continuity then. Yeah. So it's like when you're in the bar area is you, part of the gig And you probably get now. more kind of sound bouncing around as well. Yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. But yeah, it would affect the acoustics. Tend to, yeah. Carpets tend to absorb sound, don't they? Yes. But I'm sure, yes. But I'm sure the uh, sound engineers are on top of that and they probably adjust it accordingly, whatever they do. Um, so, yeah, that's... I think that was about the... What they've, the extent of the modifications. Up, need to go and have a look, really. Yeah, but as I say, that they'll do some more modifications um, early January, I think. And I actually interviewed, as well as the Vanishing Point, I interviewed Sue Lavender as well, the owner of uh, the Sound House, on Saturday. Um, but we'll be hearing her interview in a future show. Maybe next week, I'm not sure, or the one after. Okay. Um, but for now, um, I, uh, we're about to hear an interview I did on Saturday of the Vanishing Point. Uh, they're now downsizing, and um, before we hear the interview, we shall hear one of their new song or a new version of their song that they've done called Adrenochrome. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hi, it's Kevin here with The Vanishing Point outside the Sound House. Welcome, chaps, and good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, if you'd just like to introduce yourselves and what you do in the band. Uh, I'm uh, John, I play bass, guitar, and I sing. <laughs> I'm Sid, I play drums and vocals. And vocals, yeah, I was yeah. going to say you're a two-piece these yeah, days, right, aren't you? Yeah. Used yeah. to be a three-piece, I thought that was a big noise for a three-piece. It used to be a four-piece originally, but it's sort of... Uh, <laughs> Windled away. It's dwindled oh. it down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what have you been up to since the last time I saw you? I think it's probably about a year ago, something like that. Sumo. Yeah, yeah basically, we... Um, We've been gigging and stuff, but uh, our uh, the guitarist and singer Danny he basically left for Australia, uh, so it's a bit inconvenient band practice wise and stuff. So. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, long so, um, as that was, you, they do it all over the internet these days, yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah, we can get a hologram or something. Bobby Williams did it, it was appeared as a hologram on stage to take that, didn't he? So <laughs> <laughs> do something like that, maybe. I'm sure you got the funds, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so basically, well, as that was winding down... So will he be coming back then, or has he just left for good? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, know, I think he's, he's going to be there at least for another good few months at the very least. So right. rather than, you know, just do nothing, we thought, you know, let's just let's just book a gig, see if we can do it as a two-piece, and just, like, you know, just practice as hard as we can and, like, get ready for it, and then and here we are now. Yeah, it's been... Uh, so- so you're on bass, guitar, and singing, and, and, and lead, and guitar as well. Yeah, Limey. So you got like wearing two guitars at the same time. How does that work? No, I've got a load of uh, I've got a load of pedals right. that I can switch between which one I'm coming out of. If it's a good, uh, I've got not, I can change the octave of the bass guitar and stuff. So it's so you'll always do one at a time then. I can do both. I can, so one, one, one or the other, or both at the same time. Right. Wow. I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? Are you, what? So, what about your plans for future? I mean, what are you gonna do after this then, with, without Danny? Uh, after this, I think we're gonna want to record uh, and just start. You know, getting a, you know, do do a single, do a video, release that, uh, and just keep going basically. Yeah. Because I think at the minute we're working harder than we've ever worked before. You know, even when we're a three piece, so it's, it's going pretty well. Yeah. So presumably you'll do the same sort of stuff. I remember it's sort of quite fast, rapid, par- rapid fire sort of. Yeah. Really, yeah. you know, there's, there's no hanging around. You you, you get no cracking, point, don't you? No point doing ballads. <laughs> <laughs> Even Danny when he was doing solo, I remember it was it was like rapid fire stuff, like yeah. machine gun fire with his yeah. with his acoustic guitar. Yeah, absolutely. It's no like I said. I think when you when you're starting out and you you know you're playing locally, I think if you come out just being a bit wet yeah you know it's just people don't take any notice so you're quite happy just being a two piece then for forever more yeah it's working well it's yeah? working really well yeah yes yeah, uh, I mean the, the biggest problem was trying to make it sound like we used to um, mm. but I mean with the pedal setup John's got which you'll see <laughs> it's quite immense um, he's yeah he's got round it and like for myself where I'd usually set the pace Whereas he's setting a loop, and we have to go by the loop rather right. than me. So it's yeah, it's it's been testing, but it's actually got one of these loop recording things. Yeah, I've got a loop pedal, ah. so I can I can loop my bass, so actually bass lines, and then play guitar over it, and then loop the guitar and go back to the bass and stuff. So that's what, I think those are amazing. Those things, aren't you? Because you're like making the music there on the stage. Yeah, it's yeah. like and unique. So it's you've got uh, there's large potential to really blow it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you get it wrong, yeah. <laughs> hero or <of> zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, uh, what about any plans for festivals or anything next year? Uh, not yet. I mean, to be honest, with you, it's, we're, just, it's like, we're like a new band again, do you know what I mean? So we've literally just started out again. So we just, all we've been concentrating on at the minute is just this gig, do you know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, we've been working so hard for it. Um, we've not really thought past it yet, really. So now after the gig, we'll be able to, you know, get a plan together. Yeah, okay, brilliant. What doing. Okay, then, good stuff. So we've heard, we've just heard Adrenochrome from you, and we're about to hear one of your live songs that you're about to about to play tonight, actually. Yeah. Uh, but you've not got a name for it. Uh, not yet. I think it's going to be called Hooked on a Signal. I think. Sounds good. I think yeah, that's what it's going to be called. Pretty sure, but um, yeah. Okay. Well, it takes me a while to think of the, think of a name once it's been written, but I, I reckon that's working. That's the title at the minute. Yeah. I'll look forward to that then. Okay. And and hear hear it. Well, hooked on a signal. Yeah. Right. Excellent. By the vanishing point. Thank you very much, chaps. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank right, you very much. Thank you.
That was Hooked on a Signal by The Vanishing Point, recorded live at their gig that um, that I attended on Saturday. Now, uh, uh, the first track we played uh, reminded me of Hawkwind, that reminded me a bit of Joy Division, which is not a bad comparison. No, I know, now you said that, I think you're absolutely right. Adrenochrome was, awesome, right. Was, 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 yeah, it was Haw- well, Hawkwind kind of tempo, wasn't it? It was, indeed. It's amazing to think, especially with that last one that I recorded live at their gig, there was only actually two people there. John Sketchley's in the room, wearing a very dapper red <laughs> scarf. Hey, hey love, how are you? It's lovely. Is, are you going out tonight? No, I'm not. No, he's not going out tonight. He's, uh, he's looking very good. Are you a bit cold, love? Yeah, it's cold. It's a bit cold. It's cold outside. It's not not cold in here, though, John. Okay, time, time for a couple of tracks. Giovanni's here setting up for the sports show after seven. He'll tell you uh, what marathon he's got on, because I read out his email earlier, which I thought was never going to end, actually. Uh, that's a, com- uh, a bit of Jonesy before that. Yeah! And I'm back Now I'm back Here we go now Turn it up, turn it up This is my sound Ripping it up Getting all psyched up I'm gonna be blasting for your whole entire town I'm back again, homie Did you think that I leave? This rap music is like the air that I breathe One stop performing One stop rapping The things I quit Just make me wanna seize I just burn up Anger like a bone Scene raging out So homie, don't perform I'm not a quitter I'm just a determinator I wipe haters out Like a young determinator I'm more determined than ever To ever I rap Raising the game Someone giving me a clap Yeah, yeah Now I feel wonderful Now everybody Let's get mental Yeah Let's get mental Come on Let's get mental Yeah, yeah Let's get mental Come on Let's get mental I make some times seem a little bit too crazy but I don't face me, that's just me The crazy Jonesy, who went to the stage Can send everybody on a crazy rampage A be like my blows, for 4.0 Let's go, let's go, and tear off the flow Crazy solos, hands in the air Everybody's marching like we really don't care But no one is like me, I'm one of a kind Like a snowflake, two are never the same I'm alone in the game, one day I hope to Have my name written in a platinum flame Sometimes I think that my ego's so high But I don't care, cause I've Right to be high, cause at the moment I'm high, not low. Actually, in fact, I feel so mental. Yeah, let's get mental. Come on, uh, let's get mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get mental. Yeah. Let's get mental. Take it to the stage, but 
hold of the mic, let it light uh, Let's make some up tonight I'm never scared to perform, never scared of myself Everybody looks at me, thinking Jones and needs help Cause when I'm at a gig, I'm all over the place Going all crazy, drunk out of my face But that's just me, I can't help being crazy I have a screw list in my brain, that's why he drops as a baby Yeah, at least I'm living the life Not beating boys, sitting around the house I get out there, and I really don't care People don't like me, they can move away from here I'm here to stay, I shall never go away I keep on being me until my dying day So what do you say, should we go to the dance and live life to the full? Let's get mental Uh, Mental and Jonesy's um, part of a new compilation album, Kevin. Yes, the one that we've just been talking about the first half of the show, Matt Chubb. Uh, he's going to be on the Winter Wonderland charity album, uh, which will be good. Unfortunately, he's not performing live at the Shed this Friday, though. Never mind. Uh, the Tennyson's just before we hear about the sports show. <laughs> Tennyson's really like that track uh, got to fade it a bit because of a bit of talking before seven uh, where'd you get your money from is the track it's very very good uh, Kevin's got something to say about formal warning uh, one of our fade bands here yeah I was just going to say they're doing a free gig this Friday at Pi Bar um, up Narbra Narbra Road uh, with Eden Avenue female fronted rock band who we haven't had on the show yet I don't no, think no we will in the future uh, 30 seconds so I'll play the news Jingle Giovanni is here with a packed show after 7 sports wise ok the countdown clock is on uh, Dobshire Senior Cup tonight Gresley can they nail the nailers of Belper tonight uh, we have a live match preview and also regular updates keep an eye on those Champions League games Liverpool must win Stephen Gerrard starts and talking rugby ahead of that uh, mouthwatching clash the top of the table clash between Colville and Matt I don't, like, I don't like Stephen Gerrard anymore he's called against Leicester oh dear uh, everybody has everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh you spoiled my line there ok that's coming up next after the news thanks to Kevin